You finna turn up. And D four R stands for what? Die for respect. That's the name. That's the name of the whole project. Mm hmm. Die for respect. And you're working Twice. with OG Parker, right? Yeah, it's me and OG Parker tape. The whole thing? Yeah, it's like a um, you know, how, you know, how Twenty One Savage and Metro Boomin did they tape? Yeah, it's like that. But it's me and OG Parker. Dope. And this is not y'all's first time working together either. Close like this. So you know, he produced everything on the, on the tape. Do you have any features on it? A lot. Can you tell us any? Nope. None? Yeah, yeah. It's coming up. You about to see it in a minute. I can't. I don't want to spoil it now. You know what I'm saying? I, it's very exciting, though. I think everybody is going to very, they're going to really, really enjoy it. And I'm extremely excited. Um, this is about to be the turning point of my career. You know, I just got warmed up off one song. I'm going to see how they act with 11 of them. You know what I mean? So. So I'm okay, shooting videos about, of all of them. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm shooting videos of all of them too, so they're gonna get all Every the content. Every single one. Yeah, that's the goal. What about the people that's on it though? The features? Are you gonna shoot the videos with them? Of course, of course. Hmm. I'm seeing some 42 Doug in the in the comments. Just some speculations, but I don't know. What I mean, I would I would like to hear that though. God, you tell me, Jazz. <laughs> we gotta talk about moonwalking though, because obviously the song went crazy and took off. Did you expect for that song to be like as popping as it was, or were you actually thinking that you know this project coming out was gonna be the one? I mean, this project wasn't even thought of when moonwalking came out. To be honest, like I was just, I was last year. I was just on some like, man, I ain't waiting on nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been. A lot of people think when they get signed, oh, you made it. It's not that. Like, when you sign, you still got to move like you're independent. Right. So 2020, I was moving like I was an independent artist. So I just, I was just dropping music. And then Moonwalking was one of those ones. Like, when I was riding in the car, I listened to my own music all the time. And when I was riding around, I was like, man, this shit is hard. What the fuck? <laughs> like, I kept listening to it over and over and over and over again. I'm like, this is a song that I haven't got bored of. I listen to my own shit to see if I get bored of it. Yeah. Never got bored of it. I was like, all right, well, we on this song now because I was shooting videos and everything. I'm like, okay, let's drop this joint. Drop that joint. Everybody was rocking with it. Oh, this shit hard. Blah, 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 blah. It was just me on it, though. And then Blueface hit me up, and he was like, man, let me remix it. Put it up to the studio. He did the remix right then and there. And then he leaked the whole song the next day. And I'm like, man, why you do that? So I was like, fuck, let me go ahead and just throw it on SoundCloud so people can just at least listen to it because you not already show people your whole verse. So... Um, did that blah, blah blah, then we ended up getting it on Apple Music and Spotify and all that. Mm -hmm. You know, it was doing what it do, but the video is what made it go out the way. So, mm -hmm. and what about when my G hopped on it? Like, every you had so many different remixes to it, yeah. I got about, got about four. <laughs> is there other any more coming out, or that's it? No, nah, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, that's it. I, know I got it. It's an EDM mix out. It's fire. I saw that one too. I was like, hold up, listen, listen, listen. People are saying, wait, your comments are going crazy. Somebody said that NBA Young Boy is going to be on there. Confirm or deny? You never know. <laughs> With me, that you means, never know. That means yes, because you, if it wasn't true, you would have told us that it wasn't true. Nah, I don't, I'm not saying nothing. I'm not telling you yes or no to any features. I just want people to just see. You know what I'm saying? A super surprise. Yeah, that's all. I, I just want people to just be surprised and, and excited. Mm -hmm. And I want people to just, I want it to be a moment. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I don't want to get no hints. Leave where it's at. I feel you. But Friday is coming out. D4R, right? I can't do it. Yeah, not the whole thing. tape. Not, not the whole tape. Just just one song. Just a leading the single. Then we're going to trickle up. the whole there. tape. No, I'm, just, I'm just warming them up. I'm warming them up. That's all. Oh. The tape okay. coming next month, though. I can tell you that. It's coming okay. next month. Yeah, yeah. It's coming next month. It's just not. Cause it's done, right? Like you already know. Yeah, it's done. To do. Yeah, everything's done. Like I got cover art, everything. Everything's done. It's, it's already ready to go. Turned in everything. But I, I'm dropping pre-orders this Friday. So everybody, everybody needs to make sure they pre-order. Everybody watching this, I know you got ten dollars, or at least you got your mama credit card. <laughs> Get your mama credit card. You know, iTunes and buy that for me. Buy the tape, it. and the ten dollars goes a long way. Cause I know artists like streaming is like cents and cents and cents but buying the music it really matters and makes a difference it ain't about the money i'm just trying to get a good first week number that's all yeah for sure and you have your own label too right yep zooted zooted music 
Do they, what made you want to start your own label? I just feel like I'm in a position where I can help a lot of people. You know, I got a, I got a very, very strong fan base or family yeah. base. I like to call them family. Yeah. Got a very, very strong family base. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I like to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very knowledgeable. I'm, I understand the game. Like I study the business, you know what I mean? And all that. So I'm like, 